friends, this is Billy Reed's restaurant in Palm Springs. Let me zoom in on this sign for you. Elvis used to come here and eat, according to Dick Grobe, Sam Thompson, all those fellas. Not maybe, Elvis would come here. This is a very nice, beautiful restaurant. We're going to go in and take a look. Stay tuned. I can't see anything. Perrier on rice is very nice. And the raspberry iced tea is just for me. And it is. <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> and this is Billy Reed's, established in 1975. And Elvis was here in 75, 76. Actually, December 7th. Look, look at that. And so 77. 76 and 77 for sure. And how do you know that? I was there. <laughs> so some people think that if you weren't there, you can't know. Lincoln got shot. I didn't have to be there to know it. That's a fact. Excellent food, excellent place, highly recommended. Palm Springs. Springs of Palm. <laughs> That fish right there is being coy. So in Palm Springs, it is 108 at 3.18 in the afternoon, and we are in the shade, by the way. So Trey found out that this section right here was the original section. They've added on all of this that we went through. So we're going to walk in there and just take a quick look, see. Very nice place. Highly recommended. Hey there, how y'all? So this is the original part right here. This part and this part. This was original to the restaurant. And then they added on all of this. Very nice. So. We recommend coming and eating here. Look at the lunch counter. Boy, it's really nice. Excellent. The one and only Billy Reeds. That's an original coffee. That's an original right there. Very nice. This place was featured too. A lot of folks don't know it. A Beatles song. This is the one and only Billy Reeds. So this is the original part right there. Look at those mountains up there. One of these days, I'm going to climb that mountain, mountain, mountain. Probably not. I'd rather eat at Billy Reed's. So this place right here on the left, friends, it's Margaritaville Resort now, right? Mm -hmm. Is where the fellows would stay when they came here. So Memphis Mafia stayed here because the houses were not large enough. And you can see there, they look like it's a little hotel room. It's old school. Now we don't have any details as far as what rooms, anything like that. They would probably be just whatever rooms they had available. But this is where the Memphis Mafia would stay when they came to Palm Springs. Now, some paperwork with the billing. <clears throat> you do have some? I don't have it. I've seen paperwork with the billing. A lot of people don't know that Jimmy Buffett actually would stay here with the Memphis Mafia. <laughs> yeah. 
have to edit that. Joke he was out. wasting away. <laughs> right here. Again, that margarita. Yeah. Yeah, so that's not been rebuilt or remodeled. No, 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 no this no, is. It's the same, man. Yeah, that's all. I kind of like it. I like the way it looks. It's nice. So the fellows would come here and cut up in Palm Springs with Jimmy Buffett. I mean, that's as close as, I just bossed it a little, that's all. I was gonna say, you start lying in your video, people are gonna believe it. Well, no, it's, that's not lying. It's just, you know, I needed to to add that because I needed the video to be this, the gotta, length that it is. You gotta soup up the story. Yeah, well, they told me that the length of the movie was okay to change facts. So the length of this video created this fact change. So this is what the Riviera Hotel looked like. That's what it was before it was Margaritaville. This was built in the late 50s and was well used all the way up until now. Still in use. Very nice. This is Elvis. Then we have Frank Sinatra right here. Barbara Sinatra. Dion Warwick. And Colonel Tom Parker up there. Stuff. Earl Hagen. Don't know who that is. Oh, Ricky Nelson. Pretty good stuff. And here we are, downtown Palm Springs. This library right here. 1938 is when he donated the land. It was completed in 1975, so this was here during Elvis's lifetime, for sure. All right, well, what a day of filming in Palm Springs. It is time to head back to Nash Vegas. And wow, I am tired and it is hot. It is 749, the sun is going down, it's still 110. Wow, it's hot in old Palm Springs. So friends, one of the first things that Dick Grove told me about when he was talking about Palm Springs was training Red and Sonny and Elvis to shoot. And this was the gun range they would shoot towards the mountains for the police department. And he said that nothing is out here that was out here at that time. You can see that they've got sand dunes and stuff to ride four wheelers. But back then, this is where it was at. And this is on the highway that is heading into Palm Springs. Palm Springs is that way. That's the shooting range right there. And then you can kind of see, well, you see the edge of that mountain right there, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that is him right here. So this is it. In fact, you can see those dunes right there are still built up out there at the edge. Here's another one. That is cool. And that's Dick right there. That is Dick. Yeah. All three of them. Yeah. So this is where he taught the Memphis Mafia to shoot. So they shot toward that? He said Red and Sonny were not good shots, but he trained them how to shoot here. He was actually an award-winning marksman, Dick Grobe was, right here? Yes, indeed. Well, the other thing, friends, is we're trying to do a lineup, but I doubt they were standing at the road shooting. They were probably way in there shooting. And that, it looks close, but that's a long ways away, believe it or not that mountain right there. So they could have driven in there, but it was something Palm Springs Police Department had this out here, this firing range. Yes, they did. That's another playground for the Memphis Mafia. This is it. Elvis. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.